Welcome back to another episode, everybody. My name's Evan. Uh, we are getting ready to do some more work on Bad Bug. Um, I'm gonna gonna try and finish out some of the interior stuff today. But before we get started, uh, we had some Chinese food this Friday, and I got a very very interesting fortune in my fortune cookie. And I want to take a moment to share that with you. It says your eyes will soon be open to a world full of beauty, charm, and adventure. I'm not lying. Right there. And what is that beauty, charm, and adventure, you might ask? It certainly it's not me. It's a bad bug. Yeah. So, I just thought that was interesting. Thought I'd save that and share that with everybody. Um, so, if you remember last time, we got the back seat out, discovered there's um, a slight rust problem. I can't weld, so that's an even bigger problem, but I think my brother can. But today, we're going to be focusing on uh, the front half of the car, right? We're going to get the seats out, <clears throat> the rest of the carpet, and we're going to try and get uh, the under dash partial shelf. Um, look at more tools. I get to use a hammer today. So I'm really excited for that. So uh, I'm going to get you set up here. We're going to get to it. So here it is. This thing has been in the car since I can remember. It's uh, just a, a vacuum formed piece of plastic. A couple little screws on each side just to hold pressure. But in a car with virtually no cubbies or storage or anything like that, it, uh, it's pretty nice to have, pretty handy. Set that right there for now. <clears throat> and now for the seats. Checking to make sure it's all the little teeth. There's a little lever that you pull. And it pulls one blade out and you can slide the seat and then the crank back in to keep it from moving. Just making sure we're getting past that. Which we are.
That's one. Looks like I've knocked the stuffing out of it. Da -da Don't worry, folks. I won't quit my day job. Comedy's not for me. Now on to the next one. All right, seats are out. There's those little teeth I was telling you about. And there's the handle. And right here, <coughs> excuse me, you twist that. And that lifts that up. And when it's down, it catches so the seat doesn't slide. So it looks like we've got rubber mat as well as the carpet kit here so more trash who knows how long that's been there Seagram Ooh, that was a drinker or maybe it was my mom Okay, so it looks like now we've got to get the bolts out that hold the seat belts in. This one thing I love about this car is I think it had a option for the factory seat belt with the Wolfsburg crest. That's pretty neat. So we're going to keep working. I got you set up on the back of that partial shelf that's all rusty, so hopefully you won't fall through, uh, but we're going to work on getting the rest of the carpet out. original rubber flooring.
half inch. First guess. loose just enough. You can see right here, there's a couple of good spots that aren't covered completely with glue. Uh, the original color, which was sea sand, uh, and that's the plan for when I repaint it. We're going to go back to stock. Uh, and then there's, there's a couple other things that I want to do as well. Um, my vision, so to speak. I'll let you in on that when we get a little bit closer. All right, last little bit of carpet here. I may have to go get a screwdriver because this one's wedged in really good. Oh, there we go. So, we got it all out. Now there's like this sound deadening material here that I'll try and work on. I think we may have another rust problem under here. I see a non-factory pan and that doesn't look good, so. And then there's just a ton of wires. Uh, I mean, things have been cut and ran throughout the years. I know I had a stereo put in here, so um, that was a lot of it. But there's, there's just a lot of wire here that I don't know what it goes to. And I'll probably have to leverage my brother on. So, bro, if you're watching... All right, so now we're going to try and get these door cards off, and that requires taking the handles off. I don't know that I'm going to be able to do this by myself because you got to push in, and there's a small little pin that you got to hammer out in each of these. In my other 66, it's like a little twist screw that, that keeps pressure on. So this is going to be new and different. We're going to give it a shot. Tiny thing right there. Slips 
right into that hole. So, don't want to lose that. panel off and you can see you can see that color right there a couple more clips came out I wonder if that can match those though yeah there they are just broken off side. I believe this was an aftermarket. This is in much better shape than the original rear panels that we had pulled out um, on that other one. They tore right along here trying to come out. So that leads me to believe this is uh, an aftermarket when they redid it in this teal green color. Um, I do remember being younger and the bug actually had, I think it had black panels but it had armrests, and you can see, I think this is where they, I went ahead and bought some, and I hope that I can get that rigged up. It should sit right along in here, so um, there's, it's really hard to, to close the doors in the cold weather. you got to roll the window down and, and grab this frame, but if you had the door handles, you can pull on it. Um, so that's just something that I would like to have back on this car. Way. All right, I think we are going to call it a day. Uh, I feel like I got a lot of good progress done. Uh, we'll take one last look here. I think it's coming along nicely. Um, again, with the, the rust under here and the rust back there, um, I think we're going to have to do a little bit more work that uh, is way beyond me. Um, I'm already getting out of my comfort zone. You know, I'm, I'm a guy that can change a flat tire and can change my oil, um, but tear down a car and rebuilding it, I've never done that before. So um, I'm probably gonna need some help, need some encouragement. I think next week we might try to tackle the windows. Uh, shouldn't be too hard, like I said last time, that rear, popped out uh, with a shower curtain in between the other ones. So um, that ought to be fun. Try to break any glass. Uh, but that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed watching me struggle again. Um, please remember to like, share, uh, and leave a comment. Let me know um, what struggles you've ran into restoring your car. Uh, it'd be good to have conversations back and forth. All right. Till next time, you guys take care. Thanks for watching.